about? How do you feel about Trump's cabinet picks? I I, I feel fine about his cabinet picks, and I, I mean, I, I again, I'm not sure what's going on with Kwame this morning, but all the hyperbole that he's sharing with the listeners, and I, I mean, people have to be absolutely confused right now because of the things that They're he's saying. They're not confused. They're watching he, too. He, you're, you, you just <laughs> said that basically none of his picks. <sighs> have any experience outside in of government it, it, outside of defense which is absolutely not true senator jeff sessions who has been nominated for attorney general I'm glad you has, said has been a senator for 20 years That's awesome um elaine chow who's been nominated for transportation secretary actually was bush's labor secretary you know during the 90s even worked for clinton a little bit um not to mention her husband mitch mcconnell happens to be the senate majority leader i mean so li listen i, I mean it, it, you you take rick tillerson who's been nominated for secretary of state he ran exxon for almost a decade exxon is actually larger than the state department they have more employees they have a larger budget than the state department and they actually operate in more countries around the world than our very own state department does so I, I think to say that these people don't have any experience or they're not qualified, <laughs> Linda McMahon going to the SBA, I mean, my God, I mean, look at what she and her husband have done with WWE in terms of developing that company over the years. I, I do, you, do like you, that Do you, do you do think like Linda one. McMahon, you think she's she's not qualified to help a small business to be able to grow and come up with programs that, that help business owners to be able to develop their ideas? I believe Trump has put together a pretty good cabinet and actually what i like about his cabinet and the, the biggest takeaway that i've taken from watching some of the hearings over the last week or so the people in his cabinet don't necessarily agree with him they 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 don't agree with his message they don't uh, agree with his positions and i think that that's what's so great about it it goes back to the same cabinet that that george washington put together he put together a lot of people that didn't necessarily agree with one another and because of that we ended up you know when ambition meets ambition you get greatness out of that. And I think that's what's going to happen over the next four years uh, with this Trump I administration.